5 tips you should definitely know when starting New Game Plus in The Witcher 3 next gen. Stay tuned for that. What's up guys, my name is Frankie Boy. On this channel you can expect everything regarding The Witcher 3, so stay subscribed for more. And uh, I have some nice tips for you today when you're starting over to New Game Plus in The Witcher Next Gen. Some things have changed since back then, so this needed an actualization. I guess you can't say that in English, right? I'm from Germany. This guide needed an update, so let's start over with thing number one. Tip number one is going to your stash. You have one in the Corvovianco vineyard, of course, or maybe in Novigrad here. Just go to one of these, doesn't matter which, and put the things you want to carry over into this stash. So this could be like a set or some legendary weapons you wanted to keep, because Geralt only keeps the things that he has on himself right now wearing, or some other things, but not everything. So if you want to keep stuff, put it in the stash. Tip number two, mutagens. Mutagens actually carry over and you can craft these and you can farm these. So make sure to have enough mutagens for the new game plus. I would totally recommend having four greater red ones, four greater blue ones and four greater green ones. If you're having problems with generating or farming these mutagens, you could either craft them in the alchemy tab with some materials. You can even like turn blue ones into green ones, etc. But there's also one more important thing and I actually finished the Blood and Wine DLC and when you go back to Covo Bianco, which is your house right here and you go into the bedroom. So you enter the house, go to the left and then you see it. There's a letter from Regis. You can read it. Hey Geralt, got a present for you. And it's the Muta Generator. How awesome is that? I totally forgot that. I never even had a clue of that when I started New Game Plus and I want you guys to use it. It's actually in the quest items tab right above this face cam. It's the Muta Generator and you have to kill 100 creatures and then you can click it and you generate a mutagen, a random big one. And as I just told you, you can like change the blue one into the green one, etc. So you can use it to generate mutagens and farm. And I have some videos about farming anyways, and you can r just use one of these farm spots I showed you to farm these. So make sure to have four greater ones of each kind before starting New Game Plus. Point number three, alchemy recipes, of course. Alchemy makes Geralt the best witcher in the whole world, and he can actually carry over these recipes. Piece. This is so crucial to collect all these recipes beforehand because you can actually increase your toxicity level with these recipes with acquired tolerance. This skill increases your maximum toxicity three for each level three formula by 1.5, sorry. So this is quite a nice thing to have. You can start the new game plus and boost yourself with all these potions and decoctions. It's quite nice. And I want to highlight this video that I created, the alternative to Erendoid, the next best silver sword. And you actually have a quest starting here at Flovif. Just follow this video if you want to know it by heart. And this is actually a quest where you get one of the recipes for alchemy. It's a quest crafting recipe and this actually also increases your toxicity level. So make sure to get it. You can actually carry over these oils, potions, bombs, decoctions, all the good stuff you gotta learn that first i guess it's totally worth it the next thing you want to have is like the best leveling weapons when starting into new game plus you need like some weapons that give you an advantage and these weapons are kind of missable so you want to keep them the first one is of course erendite you get it in the blood and wine dlc this one levels with your character you deal 10 blows each one increases the damage of erendite by 10 percent and when you have it fully charged it permanently increases the damage of erendite this is quite awesome where do you get it you see this lake right here there's a quest just do that one it's quite complicated you might want to watch a guide for or dead and uh, yeah stay to this quest stick to the knight be a real knight and then you will get it as for steel weapons i got two options for you guys the best option is winter's blade this blade is so awesome it has armor piercing critical hit damage bonus and chance to freeze so don't make the mistake and put in some runes that actually could ignite enemies this would be false but the magic happens right at the bottom of it just read the caption damage scales with character levels so this will 
weapon will increase its damage when you level up. So that's perfect for leveling, perfect as a starting weapon and for New Game Plus you can keep this weapon like almost forever if you want to and didn't find a better choice. Now you could also get like the Witcher Steel Sword but it doesn't level to your character. It's just affordable at the vendor with the top notch swords in Novigrad and this sword always has the level you buy it on so it doesn't level but you can buy it at level 55 and then you have a level 55 starter weapon for new game plus totally possible you get it right here at the hierarch square where the top notch swords guy is but i recommend the winter's blade and i didn't tell you where you get this one you get it at the skellige island right when you ask for help of skellige at the battle of kermorhan in the main quest and they tell you yeah we can't help you sorry boy but we got this awesome blade for you it's the winter's blade it's freezing cold outside take this sword and you will win and uh, actually right now in the 4.0 patch it's finally viable beforehand it was totally crap the other option is of course the famous blade from the bits it also scales with your character level has also some critical hit damage bonus also three socket slots and this one is even easier and earlier to obtain in the normal game you get it in of course not Velen but Novigrad at Hattori and he is located right here northern from the port side or the glory gate it's the most famous swordsmith in the main game so you probably would not miss him and i totally recommend keeping this one for new game plus so my go-to setup would be winter's blade and erendite erendite is very hard to replace if i had to replace it i'd probably choose amy or geschäft for it as for the armor you can keep any armor you'd like the last tip i have for you is like collect all the places of, of power and this is quite a challenge but you can't go back and collect them anymore and once you finish the game they are gone forever so you can only collect the new places of power i mean with next gen update we have this reduction from five to three skill points needed per perk but we can actually only go down one line if we skill two skill points into another one so that's kind of weird make sure to collect collect all the places of power you should also go back to white orchard let's mark these places of power right here first one second one the third one at the crackler bridge then we have one northern from the mill a second one northern from the mill this one is in the graveyard we have this one northern from the south mill let's move on to skellige we have one on this island here left from harviken one in this northern island at ingvers fang one here at Svorlak, one eastern from the wild shore and uh, yeah, here on this pathway uh, you can probably get here maybe go south from Fornhalla. you have one at the druids camp one eastern from Gedeneath, one at the crossroads and another one in this ancient crypt i think and also one here at the bridge of kertrolde right here as for Velen, we're starting at the very south this one's here at olena's grove this one is at the road to bold mountain at the ancient oak we have one at the dragon slayers grotto let's keep it to the southern area area sorry one northern from Bri byways and i might have missed something right here but my next one is here at lornrook i think you have to die for this one to be honest you have one in novigrad of course and maybe i missed some right here and i didn't find them this could be so sorry for that there is none in visima so don't mind about that and going back to blood and wine dlc we have one in the south right here at the Hortons Vineyard, one at the Thermos Palace Ruins, one at this outpost. And how do we pronounce it? Ryu Kans Outpost or Ryu Gan Outpost? Maybe a little bit more French. I don't know. <laughs> and maybe I lost some here also. I remember I collected all the places of powers on Skellige and in White Orchard and in Southern Valen. This might help you out, I guess, a lot and will also last a long time till you get all of these. So right now you can finish the story. You can go ahead to the main menu and click on New Game Plus. Remember, when you did a New Game Plus, you can't create a new New Game Plus on this New Game Plus. So that's totally impossible, but you can do so with a mod. You can mod that into your game if you want to, but uh, that's only available for PC. And I know this question appears in every of my videos. Why do you have 9000 inventory space? I made a video about it. It's called 5 next gen mods that will change your life in The Witcher 3. So check this video out if you want to know why that is. Of course, spoiler alert, it's a mod, but I will tell you more about my mods in this video. Hope I could help you guys out and thank you for this awesome Witcher journey we've been on over all these years and I'm so happy for the next Witcher game 
games to come out and finally be released. Oh, I found a new marker right here. This is crazy. What the heck? I think I should be exploring more into sand. This is so beautiful. Like, whoop, whoop. Awesome looking game. See you guys in the next one. Sh thank you very much for sticking around. And uh, I totally forgot to turn on my oven. There it is back again. See you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>